Justin again with Indiana Futsal. We're out here at the grand opening of the CFI2 Futsal Court. Uh, we spent the last six weeks working with Heron School of Art, CFI, the students here at CFI2, and not only designing and prepping and planning the court, but also painting it, building the goals, and producing it. Uh, it's been one of the most fantastic projects Indiana Futsal has worked on to see the collaboration between the students at Heron, the students at CFI, and this amazing design that they've created. Uh, as you can see, the kids are already getting in on the court. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to be out here all day. It's cold, but I think we're already heating up. Sorry, I'm a little distracted, but uh, I'm going to catch some of this futsal. I am Andrea Hunley, and I'm the proud principal at Center for Inquiry School 2. We have noticed more than ever uh, more students being risk takers on the playground. You know, where before when kids were kind of creating this makeshift uh, soccer game where there weren't really boundaries and, and not everyone knew the rules, it was really hard for other students to join in if they weren't in, you know, some type of a formal um, soccer or futsal league. But now that we have the futsal court with its beautifully painted lines and boundaries and clear cut goals, um, you know, more students are willing to take risks because they understand how the game is working. And so it's been phenomenal to see uh, the number of students who are excited and who are participating and, um, and who are really getting exercise you know, at recess. What recess is all about is about being active, physically active, and it's also about um, learning to play cooperatively with others. And so having the futsal court is providing another opportunity for students to do that. Hi, I'm Danielle Reedy, and I'm a professor at Heron School of Art and Design at IUPUI. And I am here on this futsal court because I work together with my students to create a community-engaged project. Um, which I considered to be a mural on the ground um, to improve the lives of the kids at school and so that my students could uh, essentially learn a lot about how a public art project like this functions in the world. My name is Gabrielle McNeil. I am a student at IUPUI. Uh, I major in integrated studio practice, so I spend a lot of my time at the Heron School of Art and Design. I think doing work in your community is extremely important for art students, so having this opportunity put out from us by our instructor was an amazing experience for us to get that experience, get that knowledge, and know how to further do more. My name is Charlie, and I am a graphic designer and studio artist. I'm so happy to see the kids using it. I, all of my ideas, I wanted to make sure were for the kids, like, I had the kids in mind, so it makes me happy that they're using it for themselves. My name's Andrew Rice, and I got involved with Indiana Futsal through the Rushville Parks Department. I actually helped to build the Rushville Futsal Court, and I just thought the process was really cool, and I thought I'd start helping out. It makes me feel really nice to see actually kids use what I helped build, especially when it's cold, no matter what what time of year they're always having fun. My name is Chris Snow. I'm the International Baccalaureate Coordinator at the school. My message to Indiana Futsal and the Heron School of Arts, I just want to um, just tell them thank you for listening to our students, giving them input and ownership in the design and implementation of this project, and, um, and thank you for thinking of us. I want to thank Indiana Futsal for helping build and make our futsal court. I would like to thank Indiana Futsal for building this court. I want to thank the Heron Art Students and the Indiana Futsal for building the court. Thank you, Indiana Futsal. It is very cold right now. My hands are going a little bit numb, but I'm still very excited to be playing on this court right now. We're thrilled now that we have the space, we have the equipment, we have the excitement, we have the students who want to participate in futsal, but our biggest need now are adult volunteers. We need folks to help coach, to help organize equipment you know, with the students, and to help make sure that our program continues to thrive. Mm -hmm.